Hello, this is David Hess for our weekly visit of things found in used books. And uh, I work at the, or I own the Bookman in Orange, California. And I've been a bookseller for over 40 years. And in that time, I found a lot of stuff in used books. And I'm here to share a few things that I've found, a few things that I've found recently. But we'll start right off today with The Art Through the Ages by Gardner, which is still being published to this day. Newer, better versions, big, lots of pictures. This has a lot of black and white pictures. This one here was published in 1926. And I found a couple things in it, just kind of randomly stuck in the pages of this book. And and they're somewhat interesting, I think so. One is for foothill cleaners. Uh, Yukon 32217. This is in Cucamonga, California. So oftentimes uh, I will find business cards used as bookmarks in uh, books. It's fairly common. It's, I love to find these old ones, though. These old ones from the Yukon uh, 3 2, that was probably easily back in the 60s or 70s. Or This actually looks even older, so like from the 50s. So long forgotten businesses that still had the uh, their cards survived in a book years later. And also, there's no date on this card. And I do find, uh, especially Christmas cards, it's a lot. A lot of Christmas cards come through, but this one was just, just kind of unique. I, I never really seen anything like this, and I have a feeling this is from the the era of the twenties, twenty six. The artwork, uh, it does has no inscription, no date. It just says "Merry Christmas" with the with the uh, very unique kind of artwork. So that was found in that book. On to our next book. We found Visages de la France, a textbook from 1936. And uh, in this book, I just found an order form for Plus Products and a brochure from Plus, Plus Products. And this is basically pushing Adele Davis, who wrote those uh, Let's Eat Right to Keep Fit, which honestly, as a used bookseller, those books still sell to this day. Adele Davis, I keep on the shelf when they come in. They're old and they were published in the 50s. And uh, this one was, this brochure was published in 1960. And so if you use this brochure here, you could get a, uh, a signed copy of this book. You order it for your friends and it'll, it even shows Adele Davis signing the copy for you with your name and they're gonna pack it up and they're gonna send it right to your house. And a signed copy of Adele Davis. So you got the brochure, you got the envelope, you're all set. <laughs> now here is a science and health with the key to the scripture. This is Mary Baker Eddy. Uh, you know, her stuff still around to this day. Um, it's got a, a gift inscription from 1919 uh, in Linwood, Virginia. So, and in this book from 1919, I know I last week I shared a uh, uh, a report card from Hood College. Well, this week I found another uh, report card. It's Gordon Junior High School of the District of Columbia. And in the envelope is the report card for William McCormick. And it was published, in, or it was written in 1945. 2245. And there's William's grades. Uh, 
didn't do too well in English. He did horrible in math, got an F, but he got it up to a D the two following semesters. And uh, he did okay in orchestra. So there is his card on either side. Forever, forever put away in a book. And I'm sure he forgot it quite, quite easily. <laughs> and finally, in this book here, it's a, The Flush of Dawn by Henry Turner Bailey. It's a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an inspirational book, and uh, it's it's inter It's good to look at. It has uh, kind of cool illustrations, but in it, it's from 1910. But in it is, and I've talked about this before, uh, bookmarks uh, from stores in the, from the long past bookstores. Now this one, I love this bookmark. I mean, it, it is like it's kind of almost Art Deco illustrations. It's from I did uh, some uh, research. And uh, it was big in the 30s. It's the, the Concord Books, Times Square, America's oldest bargain bookshop, Concord Books, the Paramount Building in New York City. And uh, it's, it just has a, just a gorgeous design on it. And it was a real treasure to find. And this is the kind of bookmark that, that I personally will just hang on to. I, I, I love this kind of stuff. And, uh, that was a pleasure to find. It really was. And uh, well, that's it for today. And I said last week, uh, if anybody has stuff that they found in a book that they would like to share with me and our guests here at the uh, podcast, you should send me a, a, a picture and a brief description of what you found at info at ebookman.com. Info at ebookman.com, and uh, we can share with the uh, audience. And remember, books sometimes have more inside of them than just the words themselves. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to see you again next week.